Man Hatten. When do I get to punch somebody? Matrix video game this is the most incredible game you've ever played. We are getting absolutely the best performances of any fight game that ever existed. When I found out that it was going to be a video game and kind of the nature of it, I was like, that's hot. That is hot. So I was down for that for sure. The world has not seen anything like this game. This is just going to be groundbreaking stuff. From the very beginning, my understanding of this game was to create a game that was revolutionary, stylized to be more like a film rather than sort of the typical video game. The first mention of the video game was that it was like a third movie. And it had this whole amazing, intricate story weaved into the stories of the movies. In the movie, you kind of get a sense that something might be going on, but they don't really focus on it. You were present during this latest act of insubordination. There might be certain things that you don't really understand, but you find out in the video game. That's really never been done before. When you first enter the game, you can choose either Niobe or Ghost. And like Ghost and Niobe, you will encounter the same challenges that we encounter in the movie. There are agents behind me. There's no way out. There's one. Well, there's three big elements in the game. There's the gameplay. Then you have the next level, which is what we call interactive scenes. Thank you for coming. The Oracle is waiting for you. I can take you to her. But before I do, let me first apologize. For what? For this. And then in addition, we have an hour's worth of film footage that gives the viewers of the game more information about the Matrix world and about the plot line of movie two. So if you've seen the movie, and you haven't played the game, there's going to be some storyline you haven't seen. It's, it really is intertwined, the two. You have to see them both. It's nice to have something to look forward to. The Wachowski brothers did write the game themselves. They, they understand video games. It's not some software designer in San Diego writing a game. It's written by the boys, directed by the boys, cut by the boys. So they're actually directly involved in the making of the video game. You also get an opportunity to kind of get to know some of the other characters that are in the movie that you might see, like Roy Jones, for instance. He has a fight scene with Sarah. I love this comfortable fight. You got a man so close, it's easy to control the hand and then to control them damn feet, but it's all good. You kind of get to see these other characters and how they interact and who they are through the video game, which I also think is pretty cool. Carrie Ann, completely riveted by the technological onslaught around her. It's very unflattering outfit, so don't get me in it. They put me in this body-hugging suit. It had lots of light-capturing balls stuck to it, and we had to create entire worlds on a set that wasn't there. Can you sense them? If you want to be able to take a computer image and make it look exactly like a person, how it moves, you have to do this motion capture process. You just have to. And they have these cameras, you know, it's like 20 different, 12 different cameras in all these different directions. And basically, we would act out certain scenes for the video game. And oh, it was a trip. Why do you do that? Past experience can never prove the future. Usually they do about two weeks of motion capture. We decided we wanted to create every move as an independent move. We did six months of capture for the Matrix, the video game. There's like 30 different kinds of running in this game, where you, most games would have just one run cycle. So the sheer volume of motion is like five times more than any other video game. We used Master Wu Ping and his team to do all of the fight moves in the game. They created moves for us that will sort of blow your mind. And so when you're playing this video game, you're actually going to be playing his stunt actors just delivering fantastic three-dimensional fighting moves um, in true kung fu. We have real actors giving real performances, and that's something that's entirely new. Ghost and Aobi have totally different pairs they take. So if you play 
As Anthony, it's not the same game as you play as Jada. It's a different game. Kind of blending the fight game with the shoot game to make a full gameplay experience where you get to do almost anything you want. And this is a game that actually you drive, you shoot, and you actually have martial arts. And normally you, they choose one of those and they go with that. So that means we have three different fight engines in the same game. If you put a person in the theater watching the movie who hasn't played the game next to somebody who has played the game, it's not going to change their enjoyment of the movie, but maybe the person who played the game might have an enhanced enjoyment because they might know a little more information. I can't wait to get on the game and play myself and sit down with that Sony PlayStation or Xbox or whatever and just take up those joysticks and, and go for it. I'm really excited to be a video game character. I think it'll be pretty cool playing myself, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I think that's it for the game.